Hello everybody. This is a little video um, that I made to show you how I've been making lately some of my backgrounds. Um, I have some favorite brushes that I have saved onto palettes and um, once you get a little familiar with Painter 3 you'll be setting up your own palettes and workspace. I have color set libraries that I like and I put my actions on a palette that I use the most because it's way easier than going up here and picking um, uh, picking them down through all the menus. So you can find some help on how to set up palettes on YouTube if you just do a search for Painter and how to set up palettes. Um, there's a lot of good videos on YouTube, so be sure and check that out. But this is for a background, and the thing I like to do is just pick out some some colors um, that I like and say I'm going to keep this one basically in the gold golds I'll pick out a uh, oil pastel that I really like to set the colors in with and uh, say I want some darker area darker up in this area and then um, just spread some others by the push on the brush uh, to the depth. I'll spread those out and then I'll pick um, different shades. Um, I might go a little more over into the oranges just to give uh, you an idea so it shows up a little bit more of, of uh, some of the how to bring these colors through. And then I might go let's say into more of some yellow tones and um, I try to pick, they tell you to experiment with this in all kinds of bright colors if, but I think it totally depends on the kind of painting you are doing. So um, get, lay in some colors you want to come through in your background that go with your painting. Now after you've got some colors laid in, I clone this and um, when you, you just get rid of the first one you did because you're not going to be needing it anymore. Now you're going to work with your clone and you're going to add a new layer. Um, that new layer is what you're going to fill with what the background color is that you really want for your... Um, and I have over here in my colors under blondes, I have this one kind of blonde fleshy color and I'm going to go up just a little bit lighter so that it shows you more what you're bringing in and I fill this empty layer use your bucket fill and fill that with um, that lighter color and now that this is the background I'm going to be working with so now I pick out a brush that a clone brush that I like um, Dan's Funky Chunky is one of my favorites for doing backgrounds and I set my painter onto clone so that I'm bringing in those background colors. You set your brush to whatever size you want. Usually I lower the opacity so that it's not coming through um, just terribly, terribly bright on the background. Now those colors behind I'm just going to start cloning in with my um, brush that I've chosen to be my background brush. Some of them won't be coming in real dark. I might put some more opacity on because I use some lighter colors. But I like the background to not take over the painting so those colors that I've picked now I'm bringing into this clone with this clone brush you can pick whatever background brushes you like and I set a bunch of them that I particularly like. If I'm doing a chalk I would use this one but that funky chunky brings back in the colors in real painterly um, dabs of color so I, I use it quite often and then sometimes I'll blend it out with a blender or something. But this shows you how to bring in a lighter than too brightly um, sets of colors and they come in with a different brush than what you originally set them down for 
Now, if I like this one the way it is right now, I will drop my layers so that that is my canvas now. This is going to be my background. I'll go up to the effects and tell it to apply a surface texture. Usually the surface textures come on kind of deep in, in so you go to the appearance of depth and set it at what you want. I'm not sure how this is going to show up in the video, but I have it a little bit lighter so that you just see a bump of the paper. Um, and that is basically how I've been doing some of the backgrounds I've been doing lately. I really enjoy this technique and I'll get stuck on a technique and use it quite a bit. And this one has turned out to be one of my favorites. Now once you have a background, you can save it into a folder of backgrounds. And you can either do a painting and clone that painting into this background, or you can add this background in layers with your canvas and um, erase out where your painting is and bring it back in. So there's, there's various ways to use it. But I just wanted to do this simple little video to show you how to get some of the backgrounds. Hope you get some, some use out of it.